Some BMWs like this E60 behind me has what's called dynamic drive. Let's dig into it. It utilizes active sway bars. So we have a sway bar here with a motor in the middle and this motor can rotate the sway bar on either end to compensate for body roll. What else is it compensating for? The motor is driven by hydraulic fluid, which comes from the valve body. Valve body is fed high hydraulic pressure from the pump. The pump is right here and the pump also controls the power steering pressure. This pump builds a lot of pressure, 180 bar, which is the same as 2,600 PSI. And it takes that pressure and puts it up against the valve block. All that valve block has to do is open the solenoid to direct that fluid to the desired location to get the desired outcome. So I've shown you the front sway bar. It actually has a rear sway bar too. So you have full vehicle control with this dynamic system. Typically for more performance, you would go with a thicker sway bar. However, on these, you're not gonna do that. But if this does fail, it's gonna cost you $2,000 for just the rear or another $2,000 for just the front. Would you guys consider this excellent engineering or over engineering?